Pokemon Home is finally here, and so far it looks like Regieleki, Chin Pao, and Magurna are really dominating. Ursa Luna has also exceeded our expectations, it looks like, proving to be an extremely dominant offensive threat so far. The first thing I've built is a rain team with Basque Legion and Overquill. Basque Legion is an incredible new Swift Swim offensive threat and the team's main source of offensive pressure. Overquill also has Swift Swim, but I'm using it for a more supportive role. With Spikes, Taunt, and Destiny Point, it can establish hazards trade with the enemy, and let you get your Basque Legion in to start applying pressure. With Swift Swim, it even outruns a max speed Regieleki. I'm also using a Rillaboom and Sneasla on the team. Rillaboom creates grassy terrain on Switch in, and Sneasla carries a grassy seed, which is consumed in grassy terrain, raising its defense and activating Unburden to grant a double speed. Grassy terrain also reduces the damage dealt by Earthquake. With the defense boost from grassy seed and that Earthquake damage reduction, Sneasla can Swords Dance in the face of ground types and clean up games. I'm using Terra Water and Terra Blast on this Sneasler. This lets me hit ground types, become a better defensive type for setup opportunities, and the water type damage is also boosted by the rain. Rillaboom with Assault Vest has helped me out a lot against Regieleki and various special threats, with Knock Off and U-Turn for utility, as well as Woodhammer for a big grass type nuke. This has been serving me well. And of course we have Pelipper to set rain, and a defensive Magirna with Eject Button in the last slot. This helps a lot against Chin Pao and King Gambit, helps out against Fairies thanks to Stab Flash Cannon, and it's another Pivot with Eject Button and even Volt Switch. After some testing, I think Citrus Berry might be a superior item choice here for some short-term healing. Eject Button made things a bit awkward when I wanted to use Magirna defensively to answer stuff like King Gambit and Dragonite. I'll link the team in the description if you'd like to try it out for yourself. Let's take a look at some games I've played today with the team. And of course, remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel to ensure that the cart is correctly positioned relative to the Mudsdale and the long-awaited release of great mugs into Gen 9 goes smoothly. Thank you. Now this enemy, they've got Ursa Luna, they've got Hatterin. They're going to trick room. They're going to click moves against me. I can't taunt Hatterin. That's the problem. We've got Arcanine Hisuian. Very interesting. I'm going to go to Magirna. You're going to head smash, aren't you? You are. We're going to eject. We're out of there. I could go Basque Legion and, and, and uh, Aqua Jet. You know, I could calc if you're adamant damage. Determine if Basque Legion's faster. The viewers at home would have my throats for doing such a thing. We're going to Aqua Jet though over for you. You've stayed in. That's a fool's choice. That's a poor de decision. I'm going to be the first to, to let you know. Iron Hands making a making an appearance. Hello. How are you? You're going to use electric move, I bet. Wild charge or something like that. Something to the, of that ilk. What if I go Rillaboom? Would that be so bad? Would it be so bad to go Rillaboom? Salt Vest. You've Swords danced up. Uh oh. Stomping Tantrum is doing how little? That did less damage than I've ever seen. Ever. I've never seen such such low damage. Okay, you don't know Destiny Bond. You don't know that I have Destiny Bond and you're going to play into it. And you're going to... Okay. Beautiful. Because we can at least Flash Cannon this. Wait, Terra Steel, did that take you out? Denying your trick room, thus giving me an advantage. But then you can just go Cresselia. I think I would rather waste the turns for you. You trick room, I waste the turns, you know. You can use Healing Wish. Possibly. I go Pelipper. You've wasted turns. You've wasted your precious turns. How could you? Now you're Healing Wish. Now you do it. Now you do it. You got Glastria. Glastria. And this is interesting because you're about to run out of turns, and then I, I go Basque Legion. And then I, I sort of Terra Water and I win. I think. I think I win, unless I recoil myself into the depths. Unless I recoil myself all the way to Kingdom Come, you know? You know what I mean, everyone? I don't know if Cresselia dies. Cresselia could live. In the event of Cresselia living, we're going to have to rethink strategy. Okay, so Cresselia has lived. Interestingly. Interestingly. So, you know, you go Sneasler. Luna Dance. What's that all about? I close combat. You don't have your facade boost. 
You don't have your guts boost. You could be choice banded. Facade is not going to KO you. I've won. I win the battle. I've seen this once. I've been playing a bit. I saw Finchinator post something similar on Twitter, actually. Now, I would describe this as a Basque Legion scenario. Where I, I, I'm tempted to Terra Water Wave Crash. Does that just nuke through Dondozo? We can do about 37%. I think that we're going to force in Dondozo here and we're going to go over Quill. And we're going to create spikes. Oh, please. Please get me. Please get me with the D-Bond. Go do it. Oh my word, we just eliminated Dondozo. Now what the heck do you do? Now what's your switch? Oh, well actually, Dragonite. What if I do Magana first? You know what? Rillaboom first. You turn. You won't Spore. You won't do it. You spored in the face of my ground type, uh, grass type. I guess I was likely switching out. That's fair. It's okay. We don't really need Pelipper to click moves. So that's all right. I would say. We can go Mag Magruner. We could chip heal that up as well. Magiana. Mag Magiana. A name that rolls off the tongue that I love to say out loud. And this should be a deceased Dragonite. I don't floor cannon, I don't, I don't want to minus two myself, right? Plus mischance. There's no reason for the enemy to terror norm normal, I don't believe. Amoongus? Okay. Well, we broke the multi-scale, so I think it's officially over. If it wasn't already. This chip is super nice on this Mag Magruno. I think you can just spam flash cannon against it, which is nice. There's no great recourse for the enemy. The enemy doesn't have great options. In this particular situation, I could vault out in the face of in the face of danger. I'm going to do it. In comes King Gambit. I could go to Sneasel Precede, threaten a simple close combat, force a Terra Water, perhaps. Terra Flying, sorry. We go back back Magurna here. If you Terra Flying, we get you. If not, Bob's your uncle. So you turn out to to Magurna. I want the grassy terrain chip heal. I want that. I like that. I click flash cannon, and it's good no matter what happens to me. It's good in all scenarios. It's great for me. So you're going straight here, which is a bit interesting. I'm gonna aura sphere. I could get owned by Terra Flying, but no, I just KO the King Gambit. Alright then. Thank you for gaming. Appreciate it. And I think a Basque Legion cleans this one up, potentially. A simple Terra Water Wave crash for the ages. I think we can... If you head smash me, so be it. Alright, I was actually willing to die there for this. But but now we can go Magurna and vault out and keep our Pelipper. I don't think we needed it though, because that would have covered Flare Blitz as well. We get to have our cake and also eat it. I wonder if we can just liquidation, but who calcs anything in, in life, you know? We simply wave crash and it's going to be fine. It's going to be all right. My opponent's a buffoon. He thinks that matters. He thinks it matters that... He thinks various things matter in life, I suppose. That just chaos, yes. If Pelipper died, I would have won faster. That's all that would have happened. Now I can do the... Uh, the Sneasler for the fans. Maguna. Maguna. Magirna. Magirna. Uh, Aura Sphere in case he goes... Aura Sphere in case he goes to the guy. Alright. I don't know. Flash Cannon this time. A little bit more damage. All you can do is Psychic me. There's a Spadef drop. I never even needed to click Aura Sphere. Flash Cannon just finishes off that Arcanine. It's over officially. GG to the enemy. I just, uh, this is a person living in a fantasy world. That, that opponent is living in a fantasy land. Thank you to the patrons. I've made some changes to my Patreon rewards, as I'll be going away on a trip soon and won't have as much time to upload. Video requests will not be available until I return. You can still become a patron to appear on this funny end screen alongside your favorite Pokemon. Thank you. The money got different Cause of what I'm spending The money got different Oh, it's Magneton! Cause of what I'm spending oh, The money got different It's Gallagher!
pattern to fight. The money got big